Hey guys, it's Di, and I thought I would share what we have purchased for Isabella's birthday party so far. She has requested a frozen birthday party. So I've started collecting things actually quite a bit in advance. It's about a month before her party, and I knew that I needed to start looking for things because frozen things have been sold out in our area quite a bit. So I've already gone and like reserved her cake stuff and all that sort of thing just to be on the safe side. So I wanted to show you the little bit of shopping that I've done and the things that I've picked up to start to put together her party. Now, to be on the safe side, what I decided for her party, this is the first time that we've ever invited kids to her birthday party in addition to family. So we're gonna be inviting her friends from preschool and dance class and that sort of thing. And so to be on the safe side, I talked to Bella and she decided it'd be fun to do a in summer theme, so like the Olaf in summer song. So her theme for her party is Frozen, but then we're going to be doing a spinoff of that in summer. So it kind of helps me out because I can do some of the games and things like that um, more with like a Hawaiian summer theme and that stuff is obviously easier to find than if it's just a purely frozen thing. A lot of the just frozen stuff, frozen toys, frozen party supplies, everything has been sold out until quite recently I started, you know, really starting to scour around and found stuff. So I will show you what I have so far. It's just a mishmash of stuff, party supplies, game supplies, birthday presents, and I'll just show you what I've gotten together so far. And yes, I will definitely be vlogging um, kind of the finished product and anything that happens between now and then, but I thought it'd be a fun video to post up and show you what I've collected so far. So here's everything all laid out, kind of like grocery shopping haul <laughs> style. But this was prompted by the video that I did yesterday. I found a number of these things while we were out shopping and then the day previous, and I was talking about that in yesterday's vlog. So I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and do the initial birthday party and planning video and I can kind of show you everything all together. So from here over are the things that I showed yesterday, which are mainly birthday gifts. I have the party planning supplies here and then I went and got a number of games and things like that. Um, things like utensils and decorations and things like that today. So those are all new things that I haven't shown yet. But what I showed yesterday, these are all birthday gifts. And Belle's birthday is at the end of May, so some of these gifts she'll get like around on her birthday. She'll get a few gifts and then some of the gifts she'll get at her party, which is a few weeks later. Um, so that's why, I don't know, maybe it seems like a lot, but it's for the day of her birthday and actually at her party as well. So I found this Magical Lights Palace. This is the one that I found at Toys R Us and then I found it at Target the next day for a little bit cheaper and I have my 5% off at Target as well. And then these are the toddler dolls. I thought that these were super cute. It's got Elsa and Anna and then the little Olaf in there. I'm thinking the girls will really like that and he comes apart and goes back together again. So I think that'll be cute. I was able to find the Anna dress, which is very pretty, but I have not found the Elsa dress yet. Uh, I'm determined that I'm going to find one, but I refuse to pay like $175 for one, which is what the markup is online uh, for people reselling them. So I refuse to pay that much. If I can't find one at regular retail, then we will do without. Um, I got this Cuddly Princess Pals book with that shopping run as well. And then at Toys R Us, like basically what started all this is I walked in Toys R Us and they had frozen items, which is the first time I'd been in a store in my area where the store was not like sold out when I walked in. So I got all of these party planning supplies. They only had one tablecloth, so I grabbed that. I got these three plates, which are the larger plates with both uh, Elsa and Anna on them. I got these things and napkins that say family forever on them. And these are kind of like the smaller size napkin. I got one thing of thank you cards and invitations. And I'm probably also going to print out like personalized invitations as well. I got two sets of napkins that have Anna on them. And then I also got three sets of plates that have Anna on them, like the cake size plates and that sort of thing too. And then it says there are two different designs in there. So that's nice. Uh, it seems like there's a mixture in those. I also got two sets of these cups that have both the sisters on them, so the younger kids can use those. And then I also picked up some of this Scotch Expressions tape, which are kind of the similar uh, frozen colors. So I got all that party planning supplies at Toys R Us. Also, when I was at Toys R Us that first day, I got this Anna Flip and Switch Castle. And this was one of the things that when I was in there with Bella, she kind of eyed. I picked up these ballet slippers, which are just kind of extra. And also a Sophia reusable bag. And then these toddler princesses, which are just kind of an extra gift as well. So I was invigorated by my finds yesterday. And I decided to go out today and find some game supplies and just general party supplies. And I went to Target and they had these Barbie dolls 
out. This is the first time I've seen it at our Target Barbie doll. So these stores must be getting more items in. Or I'm just like hitting it right this week. This is the color Magic Anna. So apparently this little one does something with her dress. They had Anna and Elsa at my store. This was the next to last Elsa. They were almost sold out of Elsa. But I was able to get one of each of those. So I grabbed both of those. Also, when I was at Target, I got the Snuggle Buddies book. This is a step two, step into reading book that Bella is pretty much at that level reading. And I also got this Royal Lessons. We love these flat books. And this is one of those flat books, Sophia. I hadn't seen that before. So I picked those up at Target. And I would say with this amount of gifts, I mean, she's going to get gifts from her friends, her grandparents, other family members. I mean, this is obviously more than enough and I may actually give her some of these things on her birthday so then we can use them at her birthday party for decorations so I'm not sure what I'm gonna give to her on her birthday and what I'm gonna give to her you know at her party but like you know if I give her these for her birthday then we'll use them as a table decoration at her party so I thought that that would work out okay so then over here because we're doing a in summer theme I'm going to have this in the front of our house. I'm going to write Happy Birthday Isabella on this. And that will be hanging up in the front. This was in Hobby Lobby. And it was just in their summer section. And all their spring and summer things are 40% off right now. So that was nice. I also found this tray. And this is just a blue ice tray. I'm going to be using this for one of the games. I don't have the ice cubes yet. But we're going to do ice cube harvesting like they have in the movie. <laughs> right at the beginning of the movie. If you guys see them like, you know, hitting the ice and then opening it up. If you know what I'm talking about. So this game is just something that my husband actually came up with. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to use the little buckets of ice. Okay, so we're going to be using this tray. And I guess I'm going to be going back to Hobby Lobby this afternoon because I just went to get the little pails to show you the game. And they're not in here. So I guess when I got checked out at Hobby Lobby, the lady didn't give me a bag or something. So I guess it's a good thing that I'm doing this. But anyhow, I thought we would use tongs for the kids. They can use tongs or they can use scoops if it's for the younger kids. And I'm going to get a bunch of those frozen ice cubes, the reusable ones, to put down inside of here. And the kids can scoop them out or pick them up with tongs and then dump them into the little pails, which I got at Hobby Lobby today, but it was left out of my bag. So anyhow, that's what this is for. And I got these little scoops at the dollar store. So I'm so annoyed. I am always that person that something is left out of my bag or something. So anyhow... I got these two bins to hold the games at Hobby Lobby, and these were both in the spring-summer clearance. All the stuff inside of this I got at Party City. These hula skirts are just child hula skirts, and I'm going to have a dress-up like Olaf uh, dress-up station. So um, there's these child skirts, and then um, these lays. And you know what? I got I bought signs to put on the outside of these, and they're not in there either. So I must be missing one whole bag. Um, I had like the girl. The girl was brand new. It was like literally her first day. She said so. I don't know what happened, but it didn't make it into the car. Anyhow, um, I got this inflatable palm tree at the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna use that as table decoration. I got these little coconut cups at uh, the Party City. I'm going to use those as table decoration or to just rinse out and I can put like little hand snacks in those. And I got these two Hello Kitty beach balls just as a have as an outside toy um, at Target. So what I thought I'd do with these lays and the hula skirts is I'm going to have them set up as one station and then the kids can dress up like Olaf at that station. And so we have the ice cube um, game as one station, the dress up like Olaf as the next station. I got all of these utensils and things like that, a Hobby Lobby along with the utensil holder. So I'm just gonna have that as table decoration and I got this bowl at our grocery store today. Um, I picked up one balloon at Party City and I wanted to go ahead and get it. They said I can bring it back in with my receipt um, just so they didn't sell out in the meantime. I also was able to find another tablecloth at Party City and then I got these two Anna and Elsa cups for the girls. I didn't end up getting, I'm not going to know how many party favors to get until I have everyone RSVP. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to do party favors for a couple weeks. Um, but I probably won't do these for party favors. These are usually like 99 cent cups and they were charging like two bucks for the frozen ones. So anyhow. Well, I'm kind of bummed now because I can't show you everything because at least one of my bags got left at... Hobby Lobby, but I guess I'm glad I did this video because I probably I would have just thrown all the stuff in the basement And I wouldn't have realized it till I went to go get the stuff out for the party. So Hooray for YouTube videos. I'm going to use these for either 
putting ice cream into. My mom gave me the idea of scooping out ice cream before the party and then setting these in your freezer and just bringing them out on a tray. So that way you're not wasting time trying to do it the day of the party. Or they could also be used for um, cupcakes or snacks or anything like that. So I grabbed two of those. I thought I'd have a make and take craft area that, you know, the kids that are coming, they're all about Bella's age, around three, four years old. So I thought I'd have like a tropical um, Hawaiian theme make and take craft area that they can play at. And then I just picked up another set of napkins at Hobby Lobby as well. So that is what I picked up so far. And whenever I have the more complete games, I will show you guys. I want to have at least three games. So we have the Ice Cube one, the Dress Up Like Olaf one, and then I need to get uh, one more. Um, and we may just do something like a you know beach volleyball or something like that type of game that would be easy. And I've got the craft area. So then I think between all those things and then just regular toys, the kids will have plenty to do. Um, but I'll show you the more complete games and then of course I'll show you everything set up. But this is just kind of a sneak preview before I put all this all in the basement of what I got for the party supplies. And I guess after the kids get up from nap, we will be headed back to Hobby Lobby to find my other bag. So um, this is our frozen birthday party planning haul, I guess, part one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what I've started putting together for Bella's party. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. And... I wish you the best of luck. If you have been looking for frozen stuff, I understand how difficult it is. But look, don't lose hope because I found all this stuff literally within the past two days. And all the stores around me have been sold out for like two months. So keep checking your local stores, check back, and they might have stuff in um, as of recently. Because I don't even think I've ever seen those two dolls at our Target before. And this stuff has not been there for quite some time. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day. So no worries, I went back to Hobby Lobby and they had my bag set aside so I got the things for the games that were uh, missing when I originally did the video earlier today. So these are little mini buckets that I'm going to use for the ice game and I thought that these were really super cute. And if we have uh, less than 12 kids, I'll just let each kid take a bucket home with them. And then these are the little signs. These were all in the 40% off for the spring summer items and I'm going to use these to mark the games. So I'll just use some sort of dry erase or just print out little labels. And so I'll put the Olaf's dress up on one of them. And then on the other one, I just got two different prints. They had a bunch of different prints. Uh, I will put like the ice cube game and then I'll mark the other games some other way. So I thought that'd be a cute way to mark the game areas.